Yeah, well, Alec had already left the Mona Lisa by the time I got back there. Well, hell, I don't know what I can do about it now. Okay, thanks. I'll call you and tell you how it goes. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Nice suit. Yeah, very nice. Thanks. Well, new job. Got to make a special impression. Mm -hmm. Sorry I was so late last night. Oh, it's not a problem. I read a book. I paid dad. It was really nice. Casey, give you any trouble? Of course not. He never does. Although he does miss Adam a lot. Yeah, well, he's not alone there. Thanks for jumping in and helping out. Oh, it's not a problem. Anytime. Well, don't let me take advantage of you, though. I know you got a social life. <laughs> uh, actually, that is a non-issue at the moment. Mm. Classes are starting. That'll turn around. So, are we having a little nip before breakfast? Yeah. What do you think? Want some? <laughs> no. Uh, actually, Alec brought a bye for you last night. What time? Mm, 11.30, probably. I was pretty surprised that you weren't here. Where were you? Margo Hughes reporting for duty, sir. Good morning. I'm sorry I missed you last night. Yeah. Miss Casey and I both struck out. Only I struck out twice. Once at the Mona Lisa and then again. I know, once back at my house. I had a flat tire. Really? Well, you should have called me on the cell. Why would I do that? It was late. All the more reason. I uh, take it Katie gave you that bottle of cognac. Yeah, she did. It was very thoughtful of you. Well, it was purely selfish. I was hoping you and I could have a nightcap together. Great. Now I feel doubly guilty. Why? For having a flat tire? No, for missing you twice. So, it take very long for the tow truck to get out there? I didn't call a tow truck. Who changed your tire? I did it myself. Really? You changed your own tire? Well, next time I hear engine knocks, I know who to call. Well, I won't charge you for the labor, but I gotta charge you twice for parts. Detective, PR, lady does it all, doesn't she? Not quite all. Well, there's that cooking thing. Oh, come on. I'm sure you're capable of doing anything you put your mind to. I mean, as fast as you dance on your feet, you're tailor-made for PR. You know, isn't this weird, though? Another guy from the photo, dead. Alec, you know, you never told me why the photo was taken or what was the occasion. What do you think happened? To Rady? Yeah. Who do you think would want him dead? Well, lucky me. Just in time for the $64,000 question. Allow me. Are you here to interview Mr. Wallace? School, I only have because one question. all interviews are granted on a first-come, first-served basis, and you've just guaranteed City Time's bottom of the pile. You know, you think if I threw a T-bone at that window, your watchdog here would follow it out? Margo, it's all right. I'll handle this. Yeah, Margo, no offense intended. Oh, this comes naturally to you. Jake, you know, I have great respect for the Fourth Estate. <laughs> you and Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see you're keeping up on your reading. Unfortunately, I can't help you much. Well, you knew Gary Rady. Not well. He was an employee for a brief period of time. You hired him. A mistake. One I've deeply regretted. Who would want him dead? You know, that would be a very long list of people, I'm sure. You know, I'm sure that it would be a long list of people, but I'm just trying to figure out why only one went to the trouble. Who knows? Anything else? Yeah. When was the last time you saw Mr. Rady? Well, gee, that was at the courtroom when he was on trial, but we never talked. You see, now that, that puzzles me. Because just a couple of days ago, he paid his bail. You have an explanation for that? You know? I think I'm going to throw that one to my press officer over there. Okay, there's a question on the floor. Anybody want to take it? Mr. Wallace did not post Rady's bomb. You see now, Margo, that 
not what the Both record the shows. money and Mr. Brady's attorneys are easily traceable to Wallace Enterprises. That does not, however, reflect Mr. Wallace's personal knowledge or consent. We believe that one of Brady's associates actually arranged his release. And this associate is... Obviously an employee of Wallace Enterprises. But they won't be for long. Mr. Wallace has already launched an internal investigation to discover what happened. Yeah, good. She's great. Yeah, she's gotten her arms around this job in very short order. And Margot knows Rady's bail wasn't authorized by me. I'll show you the door, Mr. McKinnon. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Were you involved in any way in Rady's baby selling operation? You're fishing, Jake. End of interview. I'll take that as no comment. McKinnon? The door. Don't you ever do that to me again. Margo, that's how the game is played. I lateral the ball to you, you run away. And you ran very well. I lied for you, Alec. I'm never doing that again. Look, so then after last night, I guess that makes us both about even, huh? You tell me your connection to Rady. Why'd you post his bail? Okay, I bailed Rady out, but not for the sinister reason McKinnon thinks. Fine, give me the non-sinister reason. Margo, everybody, and I mean everybody, has things in their past they prefer to keep private. Absolutely, including you. Including me. Go on. It doesn't necessarily mean it's illegal. It just might be something that might tarnish one's image, okay? Well, as the newly appointed guardian of your image, I would hate to see that done. I certainly hope not. So, go on. When, when I heard Rady got nailed with these new charges, I decided to try and do him a favor. So you posted his bail? Yeah, a big favor, huh? Maybe if he was still in jail, he might be alive. Alec, don't you understand your association with Rady? If McKinnon is asking about it, the police want more details. I have to know, too. Okay, fully understood. But there's certain information you gotta keep to yourself. That means I gotta be able to trust you 1,000%. Alec, for God's sake, isn't that exactly why you hired me? Okay, Margo. Okay. I'm gonna tell you something I've never told anybody before. What I'm about to tell you goes way back long before I ever came to Oakdale. Oh, Margo, Alec. Hey, are we interrupting anything, or...? Yeah, but, uh, come on in, that's okay. Margo, I am so glad that I found you. Why? What's going on? Oh, um, you know your buddy, the, uh, P.I., Phil? Yeah, did you find out anything No, for no, he didn't, but it's cool, you know, I made a huge decision, and, uh, well, I've decided to call off the search. For real this time. Eddie, that is a huge decision. Yeah, I left the message uh, with his service, but I wanted to get a hold of you first, so maybe you see him first, you let him know. Well, yeah, if I see him, I'll tell him. Are you sure about this? Yes. I'm very sure. I mean, I, I'm just in a different place in my life now. You know, Margot, and you know, who my dad is, wherever he is, whether he's dead or alive. And, I don't know, it's just not eating me anymore, you know? I mean, when, when Dina first died, it was important to me, you know, to explore that side of my family but man, i finally realized you know i mean even if i did find the guy it's not going to change me it's not going to change who i am and let's face it you know i mean if he had any feelings for me he would have contacted me years ago well that would be his loss eddie it sure would eddie but you know after all these months trying to find him i found what i was really looking for <laughs> i feel the same way <laughs> We are the luckiest people in the world, aren't we? We've talked your ear off, so we're gonna go. Go, go. All right, Good I'll to catch see you later, yeah. Margo. Bye. Bye, Alec. Take care, man. Ooh, young love. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Well, this whole Rady thing seems to have you kind of shaken. I don't see a man like you show his emotions much. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. Emotions are good. It's good to be human. 
So you were about to tell me something you've never told anyone? Yeah, I was. I'm listening. Margot, this is something that's very hard for me. Come on, Alec. Marco, I'm afraid. Afraid? I'm afraid for my life. You see all those guys in that picture with Rady? We were all involved in something a long time ago. And ever since then... Yeah, they've all been dropping like flies, I know. Heart attack, car crash, different things, you name it. So you don't think that that's a coincidence? No. No, I don't. It's like somebody's knocking everybody off, Xing everybody out in that picture one by one. And now, we're ready to go, and I'm the only one left. Why don't you go to the police with this? Margot, we're involved in things a long time ago that weren't exactly entirely legit. You want to be more specific, Alec? Everything's above board now and has been for some time, but... When I found out what Radio was doing at the Oasis, I fired him. I wanted to put some distance between him and me. Yeah, between you and your past. It was time for a change. It was time to... time to do some good. Okay, so you posted his bail. Yeah. I thought I'd try and give him a chance to clean up or at least make a run at it. He didn't exactly hightail it, did he? But, Alec, I gotta ask you something. When you found out that Radio was dead... You had no emotion. Margo, I was numb. Yeah. That could have been me. No, it just felt as if you didn't even give a damn. I felt guilty. Come on. The other night, he came to the office when you and I were there. He was begging me to help him. He was begging me. And you didn't. If you remember correctly, you and I were pretty wrapped up in each other at the time. I told him I'd meet up at the docks, but I never showed up. So, Alec, what, did you think you could save him? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'd be dead, too. Alec, you say that you're the only person left in that photograph. That's right. No, that's not true. What are you getting at? Somebody had to have taken the photograph. Why don't you give me the guy's name? I'll run a trace on him. Margaret, you're not a cop anymore. The guy in that picture, please couldn't touch. How do you know that? How do you know that? I'm telling you no. Why don't you just trust me? Let me try. I mean, the guy who took the photograph might be the very guy who's exiting all the guys. Margot, for your own safety, I want you to stay out of this. 